Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover this interesting problem that's called kth largest element in a stream. So we need to design a class to find the kth largest element in a stream. Okay, so k value is 3, then we need to find the third largest element. So let's uh, uh, understand this problem with the help of example. So let's take this array 4582 first of all. So if we write this array basically 4582 4 comma 5 comma 8 comma 2 so this is the array we have been given okay and in this uh, array basically k value is also 3 that's what we have to we have been given right and now what is the third largest element in this array in this given array third largest element is basically oops let me take pencil so first largest is 8 second largest is 5 and third largest is 4 so third largest basically in this case is 4 right right third largest is 4 all right now we have uh, this add method as, as well we need to implement this add method as well and wherever we can add the value and it should return third largest element because k value is 3 so now let's go ahead and add 3 so let's say if i have to do add 3 so what i will do here add 3 and how add the 3 will work let's do this so add 3 and how add 3 will work here 4 5 8 2 and we will add 3 right that's what we will do and uh, what is the third largest in this case so third largest in this case will be 8 5 4 so third largest will be 4 right and now let's say what is add add 5 now let's go ahead and add 5 as well so add 5 right and now let's go ahead and add 5 as well so add 4 5 8 i'm just copying the existing array 3 and then let's add 5 as well okay and what is the third largest in this case so 8 is first largest second largest is 5 and third largest is also 5 so third largest will also be 5 right so this is uh, the output 5 is the output now third is uh, kth largest dot add 10 right so let's go ahead and do that as well so add 10 right so let's go ahead and add 10 so what will happen once we will add 10 4 5 8 2 3 5 10 and what is third largest in this case so first largest is 10 second largest is 8 and third largest is 5 so in this case output will be 5 right now what is next add 9 so let's go ahead and do that add 9 so add 9 right so 4 5 8 2 3 5 10 9 right what is third largest in this case so first largest is 10 second largest is 9 and third largest is 8 so output should be 8 right and let's verify this so output is 8 now add 4 so let, now let's go ahead and add 4 as well so add 4 and now let's go ahead and add 4 to our stream so 4 5 8 2 3 5 10 9 and 4 and what is third largest here k value is 3 so it's third largest first largest is 10 second largest is 9 third largest is 8 right so in this case also third largest would be 8 right let's go ahead and verify so third largest is 8 here as well so what we are doing here we need to add uh, one by one whatever the given input is there in this method well and we need to add that and then we need to find the third largest or kth largest right so k value is three so that's why it's uh, third largest but k when if k value is four then it will be fourth largest and fourth la four, first largest will always be the uh, largest greatest value right whatever the largest value is there in the array that will be the first largest and subsequently we can find like what is the second largest what is the third largest so in this case if we observe like the pattern here so for example if we see like what is the pattern 
so pattern basically we can see like in this case like for example 45823 right let's choose a different color red color maybe so 45823 we are just considering 8 and 5 and 4 right in this case also we are choosing like 8 5 4 and that's how we are just deciding the third largest in fact this is 8 5 and 5 not 4 because we have to find the whatever the largest values right and in this case also we are choosing 10 and then 8 and then 5 so 5 is the third largest right in this case also we are choosing 10 9 and 8 right so third it is the largest value 8 9 and 8 10 9 and 8 so 8 is the largest third largest value right so so far basically the very key observation here is we, if we can maintain only the three element in our array sorted array then i think we should be good we don't need the additional elements right so because we can clearly see here four five eight and then whatever the third three largest eight five five here here and ten eight five right any any five because there are two five ten nine eight right here also ten nine eight right so whatever the top three top three largest elements we can keep in our array then i think we should be good and we can find the third largest how we are going to do that so in java there is a one data structure called the priority queue i think we can use that uh, priority queue so let's jump to the implementation part that how we are going to solve this problem so for the implementation part what we can do if we maintain the priority queue in the sending order itself then i think we should be good we can always maintain that three size priority queue so priority queue what it will do it will serve as a sorting thing for us so we don't need to do the additional sorting for us for priority queue internally will do the sorting for us right so whenever we find more than three elements we can we don't need to store in the priority queue and whatever the third largest value will be there that uh, will always be on the top of the priority key how it will be on the top of the priority queue let's let's see let's run through these examples okay so first example is 4582 so let's say our first example is so now let's uh, do the implementation thing right so 4582 this is the given array all right now we need to add three right so let's say we are discussing here add three so four five eight two and add three so what we will do here the given array is four five eight two and then we need to add three if we use the priority key then what it will do it will just uh, maintain basically the ascending order so two three four five eight right that's what it will do but even before adding the three what we will do we can just maintain only the three size array right three size the sorting order so once we will add three we will all all we will already will have the access we already will have the access of the third largest so even before that what we can do here once we are given the array right so we have been given this array four five eight two right we can just go ahead and sort this one so what we will do two four five and then this is already three size right and once we will enter eight right it's exceeding it it is exceeding of more than three size right it is exceeding size three so what we will do we will just pull from the priority queue why we will pull so we will pull this two from the priority queue why we will pull so that it can maintain the third three largest elements in the array so if you will see here now we are having these three elements right four five and eight right and now so this thing we need to do in the constructor itself why in the constructor so that we can maintain the three three elements in our sorted array or in the priority queue now let's go ahead and do this add thing so now the first we will do add three so with the add three what we will do now we are having this updated array 458 so we will be adding 3 right so 3 4 5 right so we are having the existing array 458 458 this is the existing array and now we need to add 3 right so 3 where it will be added because it's a sorted ascending order so 3 will be added in the front of 4 right so now we are having 3 4 5 8 and this is the 
min heap min heap means the ascending order so what it will do it will remove this three because it's exceeding the three size right so now what is on the top of priority key top of the priority key is four so it should return four now right now let's go ahead and uh, do the second example add five so add five now what is in the array in our array there is four five eight these three elements right and now we need to add five so where the five will be added five will be added here right so four five five eight that's what it will be adding so now it's exceeding the size limit of three so what it will do it will pop so it will pop from the front right so it will pop four from the priority key and what is on the top of the priority queue that is 5 so the output will be 5 in this case okay now let's move to the third example and that is add 10 so now we are having the array of 5 5 8 this is the updated array from this uh, from the this uh, add 5 right all right now we need to add what now we need to add basically 10 so 10 where it will be added it will be added here because this is the ascending order priority queue right and now it the size has been become has become 4 so now we need to remove from the priority queue 5 right and what will be the top of the priority queue that is 5 so the output will be 5 right now let's go ahead and uh, do this as well add 9 add 9 now what is our array 5 8 10 and now we need to add 9 so where the 9 will be added 9 will be added after 8 right and what is on the now because because it's exceeded the size of 3 so it will again pop from the priority queue whatever the top value so it popped 5 and now what is the top on the priority queue that is the third largest value and that is 8 so we will return 8 now the last uh, operation that we have to do add 4 right so what we will do here our array is 8 9 10 and we need to add 4 so 4 will be added on the in the front because it is the ascending array ascending sorted array right ascending sorted array in the priority queue right because it is a min heap min heap means it will it should be in the ascending order so now because it exceeded the size of 3 now what it will do it will remove from the top so it will remove 4 and what is the largest element that is 8 so it should return 8 so this is the implementation that we have to do to solve this problem now let's go ahead and do that right because now so far we have learned <coughs> that how to do this so we will take one priority queue here integer pq and we need to take int k as well right and they all are private variables now this dot pq equals to new priority q right this dot k equals to k all right now in the constructor itself we need to maintain this three size limit right because we have seen here if even if we are maintaining all these uh, unnecessary elements they are not going to solve our purpose solve our purpose so that's why we need to maintain this limit of the size uh, of the array right that this is the only if we need to keep only three elements then we will keep only three element that is going that is going to be three largest elements right so that's why we are maintaining the three three limit so in the constructor itself we will be maintaining three limit right and that's what we did in this step very step first right that's what we did so let's go ahead and do that so what we will do we will call this add method itself and the add method let's say hypothetically it's uh, doing all this magic that we have discussed here right that's what let's assume so we will just run the for loop here integer i equals to 0 i is less than num start length and i plus plus and then let's call this add method okay add nums i and let's say that add method is already doing for us right so in add basically we will be adding first of all in our priority queue that's what we are doing here we are adding in the priority queue in the sending order and once it exceeded the size so we will check the pq dot size 
if it is exceeded greater exceeded than k so exceeded if it is greater than k then what we are doing we are just removing from the priority queue and that's what exactly we are doing here right and after removing what we are doing we are whatever on the top of the priority queue that's what we are returning so in this case 4 in this case is 5 in this case top is 5 in this case top is 8 and in this case is Eight. and always basically whenever we are exceeding the size um, then k if it is exceeding the size of k then we are removing from the top of the priority queue so that's why we are maintaining always the three elements in the priority queue so whatever in the top that will be the output and that's what exactly we are doing in the code itself so we will be returning here pq dot p and that's it we are done we don't need to do anything else right so time complexity wise it will be n log n because we are doing the sorting as well here right and the space complexity will be the order of n because uh, this priority queue itself take the n space right let's quickly check for the compilation error and why it will be n log n because here also we are doing in the constructor itself we are doing the n n times operations right add operations so it will be n log n and every time we are calling this add method uh, we are doing log n operation for the offer and poll, right? And peak is always order of one operation, but in the constructor itself, we are doing the n log n operations because of this priority queue. So let's see this. Uh, I think this is working fine. Let's go ahead and submit and let's see if it is working or not. So looks like this concept is working fine. So quick summary before ending this. Uh, once, whenever we need to find the case largest element in a stream, we need to draw these kind of the diagram or these kind of the arrays just to understand the problem first of all once we keep adding uh, the required elements like 3 5 10 9 4 in this case then we have uh, realized that we are really using only the three elements but not the whole array so we need to find a phenomenon right or we need to find some approach or some kind of the idea that we need to maintain only the three size right because that's how we are going to solve the problem if we unnecessarily fill all these array or all these array items that's not how we are not going to solve the problem right because we always need the third largest or kth largest element in this case case three so i am saying third largest but k can be anything right so we need to take the only kth element in the our sorted array or in the priority queue right and once we are maintaining these uh, kth element in our priority queue then we can easily return the third largest and that kth largest will be always the top element in the priority queue and that's what we are we have seen in this example right so whatever on the top that will be our kth largest element and that's what exactly we have converted this idea into the code itself i think it's pretty simple and that short code just a matter of that how we can understand this problem very quickly i think this is useful thanks a lot have a good one bye